Have you realized how versatile black skinny jeans can be? Because I have and in this video I'm going to show you 10 outfits that I created around the same pair of black skinny jeans and even though skinny jeans are uncomfortable, I do agree with that. I still believe this black pair is a staple in my wardrobe and here is how I make the most of them. Let's start off with the casual outfits. Here I'm pairing the black skinny jeans with this long sleeve top and I'm gonna tuck it in because that is the most important thing to do if you wanna look put together. I'm gonna put on some very basic silver earrings and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this denim cape to make the outfit. So this is a very casual going to the shops outfit. For shoes, I'm gonna go with my very well-worn gym sneakers that have been upgraded to everyday life sneakers now because they are quite comfortable. I'm gonna take my tote with me. Ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> I love this tote, as you can see the wear signs are there, it's made of real leather but it's been so loved since 2018. So this is the outfit which I think it's perfect to run errands if you ask me, super sleek, classy and comfortable. Now let me do another take on the casual outfit this time wearing these pointy shoes that are from Forever 21 and have been holding up since 2019. I wear these almost every day and they still look decent. So flats are on. I'm gonna spice up the outfit by wearing this belt on my waist and this is basically how I'm gonna tie it around to make it look interesting. And I absolutely love this outfit, another running errands outfit but a little bit more feminine, more classy, less sporty than the previous one and yes, out we go! I've switched to dainty earrings because I want to add a necklace to this look. This is basically going to be a work look. So this blazer slash cape is a little bit more on the smart casual side. I'm gonna tie these loose ends of the waistband. I'm also gonna fold the sleeves a little bit. And I would totally wear this to work. I think this look is very work appropriate. And here is me tying the waist properly. And I actually don't wear this cape often. I never wore this cape out. So I think I need to change that. Let's add a little color, shall we? This next outfit is also an option for work. I'm gonna go in now with a black blazer which is going to match my jeans perfectly. Quickly added the flats and the tote for that smart casual work vibe once again. Now this is my last casual outfit and I'm gonna be styling this burnt orange jumper. Turtlenecks are such a pain to put on when you have a face full of makeup so here is me celebrating that I made it. I'm gonna throw in some gold earrings for a little bit of glam and for shoes I'm gonna go with these Converse that I've been wearing a lot. Maybe because of the color because they're not even that comfortable but it works. This was as painful as it looks and this is the second attempt. <laughs> there you go, transition gone right. For bag, no surprise here, I'm tired of this bag, but it works until I buy a new one. And I just drew in sunglasses that will match perfectly with my jeans. This is me celebrating a really cool casual outfit. I'm really feeling it and this is me realizing that I need to stop, it's too much. But yeah, I really like this, I've worn this outfit out before and I always feel comfortable in it. Thank you. 
by the way my jeans don't necessarily fit me on the waist like yeah <laughs> however I make it work by tying a scarf on the two loops on the sides and just tying it together basically and I only do this when I know I'm gonna be wearing something longer that can cover that mess so if I'm gonna wear a blazer if I'm gonna wear a cape I can definitely do this that way I can have a proper mid-rise jeans that I can wear with crop tops which is what I'm gonna do next So I already have on this black bralette. I'm gonna put in these hoops because they're definitely the star of this outfit. Now what I'm gonna do with the bag is hide the chain so I can wear it as a clutch. I'm wearing my favorite blazer over the shoulders and now I'm gonna put on these clear heels and carry my clutch. This is a really nice date outfit if you ask me. I've actually worn this out once and I was wearing flats, not heels. I really love this one. For the next dressy outfit, I'm gonna be wearing this cold neck top, which is very risky. And I don't wear boob tape or anything, so I need to just trust my luck when I wear this. Dainty earrings, because the star of this outfit is this layered necklace that I got from AliExpress. Yes, you heard it, AliExpress, a long time ago. And it's doing pretty well, and I think I know why, and I'll share that on a future video. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the same blazer, the same heels. This is basically just a variation of the previous outfit. And I love the details. Here is an idea on how to pair your colorful heels or even flats with your black denim. Just throw in a white top, you know. I'm gonna let the color of the shoes be the star of the outfit and I absolutely love this. It's so clean, so elegant, perfect date night outfit as well. And I'm literally holding my hands behind me in an attempt to stop dancing. It's so hard for me to not dance. Love this look. I could have worn it with any of the bags I worn before. And, and at this point, I was just tired of leaving my room. That Let's keep getting dressier and dressier. For this one, I'm gonna use this satin shirt that I've grown to love. I used to think that the sleeves were way too big and weird, but today I can see how cool they are and I appreciate it. I'm gonna tuck in half of the shirt and that tuck is what's gonna give the outfit a very dressy yet relaxed vibe that I love. Same gold earrings matching the top beautifully. I'm absolutely loving this pairing so far. For heels, I'm gonna be wearing these beautiful pumps that my sister got from ASOS years ago. The best shoes she ever got from ASOS, hands down, and I'm planning to buy them from her, you know? For bag, I went back to the little clutch, and listen, I really like this outfit. I need to take photos in this outfit because it's such a vibe. I think the silk shirt does the job and the fact that the jeans match the shoes is just, I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. For the last outfit, I'm gonna wear this open blazer and the star of the show will be this gold belt that my sister, my poor sister, also got from ASOS years ago she did a good one when she got this belt i'm gonna put it around my waist and then i have to adjust everything while holding my breath so my boob doesn't slip out of anything and we did it and this is me realizing that i'm already in love with this outfit like i really love it i didn't know it was gonna turn out so good for shoes, I'm gonna go back to the same pump. And for bag, I'm wearing this rustic basket bag with African print. And listen, I love this, guys. This is hands down the best outfit of the 10. I need to shoot this outfit expeditiously, okay? The outfit is so elevated that this is how I would dance on it. You know, trying to avoid the boob coming out and everything. 
I just love these details. It's crazy how the basket bag goes super well with the gold. I feel bad for whoever clicked out of this video before seeing this outfit because this is the one. I have to <laughs> I have to take pictures with this outfit. I cannot wait to take pictures in this outfit. I really cannot wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> This is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because arcing my back like this isn't easy, okay? So give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!